What is that? What? Not your mother's. What is that, babe? And if you don't want our money by marketing towards us or paying creators who look like us, I'm not gonna go out of my hey y'all, it's Sheree, what's up? Back with another video. Y'all, I am living my Xenon girl of the 21st century fantasy right now, okay? It's taking me back to childhood. I have not worn eyeshadow, literally. It's probably been two years now. It's been such a long time since I've worn eyeshadow, and I just wanted to have fun today, so I'm living. I, I, I'm living. Today, as you can see from the title, did I say that right? Today, as you can see from the title, today we'll be talking about what's new in natural hair. We'll be talking about new natural hair product releases at Ulta and Sephora. So we're talking drugstore. We're talking some high-end too. I do have two previous what's new in natural hair videos strictly at the drugstore. If you haven't seen those videos, I will link them in the cards as well as down below. Usually I talk just about drugstore, but I wanted to switch it up today. I am a drugstore girly, but I love me a luxury spend as well. So we're going to see what's worth the money, what I may pick up, what I may not pick up, what I think is trash. We're going to talk about that all today. But if you're new here and you've never seen my face, but you like my face... Because I remind you of better times and definitely be, search, be sure to subscribe. Girl, the video has just started and I can't get it together. Be sure to subscribe so you can stick around and see more videos like this. If you like this type of content and you want to see more, give this video a thumbs up. A like goes such a long way to support my channel. It lets YouTube know that you want to see more content like this. I will also leave everything that I talk about down below. I'm not pressuring you to buy, we're just chatting, but if you are going to buy it anyway, click a link and save a life. Go into my description box, click my link and purchase through my links, it really does help me. You can also do in-store pickup, but to keep videos like this coming, shopping through the links, if you are going to buy, really does help. First things first, this is not a new product. But Eva NYC is now offering a travel size in one of my favorite products, period. It's not marketed towards natural hair, but I love it for heat styling. It is their Main Magic 10-in-1 Primer. I've talked about that before. I'm pretty sure I mentioned it in one of my favorites. I think my favorites of March and April. If you haven't seen that video, I'll definitely link it so you can check it out. But now they have a travel size for those of you who did not want to commit to the bigger size. There is a smaller size that obviously you can use as a sample, but you can use to travel as well. Now this is already so out the girlies done found out about it and it's already sold out so i will link it at sephora because it's already sold out here at ulta it is the bread beauty supply hair gel this actually is not new 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 but it is new to ulta it came up through sephora like a few months ago this is their long wear curl capturing gloss i have seen a few videos on this and Honestly, they've been sponsored, and it's no Tino shade to the sponsor girlies, um, but I'm not sure if people would really like this gel if it wasn't sponsored. Again, no Tino shade, but I haven't really been impressed with the videos that I've seen. I've seen some non-sponsored videos as well as some sponsored videos, I should say that. And regardless if folks are sponsored or not, I haven't been impressed with it, especially for my hair. Um, this gel is $26 for 6.2 fluid ounces, so definitely more on the luxury side of things. I prefer mousses because they just don't tend to flake. So I don't see myself getting this bread beauty supply gel. If you have tried it, let me know what you think about it. A very OG YouTuber just launched some products with Derma E. If y'all know, her name used to be um, Sunkiss Alba, OG OG. She just, she just launched the Alba Ramos Clean Curls Curl Repair Deep Treatment Mask. We were talking about this in Insider Tea because someone dropped her launch video, her styling video. Um, honestly, these products don't intrigue me. Every product that I've tried from a celebrity or like a YouTube celebrity have just been mediocre. And again, if I was sent these in, in PR, I would eventually get to them. But to go out and spend my money on them, I don't see that happening. It's really not in the cards. 
for me they do have a deep treatment mask they have a two-in-one defining curl cream and leave-in a co-wash which hmm the co-wash let's see it is $15.50 for 12 fluid ounces that's not bad I'm um, I used up all of my co-washes I don't have any left I do plan to DIY my co-washes uh, let's see what's in here there's water acetyl alcohol which is a fatty alcohol which helps to condition the hair there's two stercoconium chloride which I think is also helps to condition there's behentramonium chloride which is your conditioner there's aloe vera juice there's tetra glucoside which I think is a surfactant so that's actually an emulsifier it's actually not a surfactant this diesel glucoside is a surfactant so I thought maybe tetra glucoside was a surfactant it's not so there's actually no surfactants in this product that doesn't mean that it can't lather because I do have other products other co-washes that don't have surfactants traditional surfactants because of the formula they still lather such as the Eden Body Works co-wash which is one of my favorites I talk about that all the time um, but this isn't this doesn't have anything like you know cocoa aminopropyl biotine or decoglucoside or some type of traditional surfactant so I'm not pressed to get it, it just, honestly it just seems like a conditioner labeled as a co-wash and it also has a shampoo Ugh, nothing about it really amazed me her video didn't convince me anymore she this is no shade to her but she seemed you know like you have rare beauty or Fenty beauty where it seems like the celebrities are a part of the process they have informed the direction of the brand on the other hand you have a brand like REM beauty or REM beauty where it just feels like they just slap their name on it or like insert whatever celebrity skincare brand where they just feel like they slap their name on it that's the vibe I was getting from watching the video again no tea no shade this is not to be messy that's just based on my observation there was nothing about her description of the products that has excited me especially as someone that's now, she's not a brand owner because she's really just collaborating with a brand, but as a manager, the face of something, she didn't seem very involved. She seemed like it was the first time of her like using and trying the products. Um, and that just... Like, if you're not writing for the products, why should I, you know? You know? In a sense, came up with the I Create Definition Styling Foam. I know for sure this is not new. It's just new to Ulta. I think it was exclusively on their website for the last few months. Now it's on Ulta. So if you if you were looking to try I Create Definition because you like Innersense Beauty products, you can now pick them up. I have not tried any Innersense products. I do want to try some because I've heard good things. Oh, it's out of stock, girl. <laughs> this. Just this just came to us and it's already out of stock. Like, that just shows people, like, a lot of us complain about prices, but there's also people that don't complain because this mousse is $30 almost for six fluid ounces and it's already sold out. That just shows that the girlies are spending those coins. I mean, I've heard it had really good holds. There's nothing in it that I can see that offers the hold. Maybe Pululan? I've never heard of that in my life. I've never heard of that ingredient. That's new to me. Oh, it's a polymer. Okay, polymers help to give the hair holes, so probably that's what's keeping it together. That's dope. I may eventually try this. Often also will have 50% off Innersense. The Gorgeous Hair event is coming back up, I think, in October. I'll see if it's on sale. Do I want to pay full price for it? No, because I have like six, seven mousses in my stash already. It looks like Redken has a new product. Their Acidic Bonding Concentrate 5-Minute Liquid Mask. So I've tried their regular bonding concentrate, but this seems to be like a 5-minute quick DC, um, which is different. I'm not sure why they came out with this besides it being a money grab. 16% conditioning care complex for 72 hours of ultra hydration, shine for three days, three times stronger hair. Um, and this is interesting. When did this come out? So far, it has 158 reviews and almost five stars. So the girlies are liking it. I do like their their regular concentrate. 
I don't really know how this one is different. This had to just come out because all the reviews are from July. So if you have tried this, if you've heard about this, let me know what you think. Um, I do love some Redken products. I just used a new Redken shampoo for my recent wash day and it was excellent. Um, it says it's making the hair healthy and shiny. Uh, it says it's comparable to Olplex, but, but much better. Again, they have the original mask. I don't know how this is different. I would actually have to go in and compare and contrast the ingredients, which would take too long right now in this video. Um, but offline, I'll figure out the differences and maybe I'll eventually pick it up to see how it works. Girl. I don't know. They also have a mini size if you didn't want to spend the money on the full size. Because the full size, y'all know Reckon. Reckon is not cheap. It is 8.5 fluid ounces for $36. They also have the one ounce girl for $12. One ounce ain't about to do nothing for me. So <laughs> I would just get the full size. So that's new from redkin not your mother has released a whole bunch of products for the summer they released a sleep on it overnight hydrating serum cream which i think you're supposed to like put it on your hair and then it's like a leave-in but not girl i don't understand it's four ounces for ten dollars get an intense dose of moisture while you sleep and wake up with nourish refreshed hair um how to use pump one to Pump one to four times into hands, depending on your hair's thickness. Apply to dry or damp hair before bedtime. Distribute from, from mid-lens to ends. Seems very gimmicky to me. I actually own this product. Now your mother sent me their, their new collection, or some of the products in their new collection. Um, I may do a video. Let me know if y'all would want a video on the new products. I have that one. I also have the Beach Babe Sunscreen. Um scalp and hair mist so if y'all don't know uh the sun will not only cause degeneration to your skin but also to your hair that's why it's good to use an antioxidant spray or a sunscreen on your hair and your scalp to protect your hair because the sun will beat the hell out of your hair and your skin so that's that's good to have. I haven't used it. I do obviously own it. They also have new products in their Curl Talk line, which is specifically supposed to be for coily textures. It's four new products. This is the products that they sent me at first. Um, one is the Refreshing Scalp Mist. The other is the High Moisture Whipped Cream, which I'm most interested in trying. Honestly, from just trying out these textures, I got these products weeks ago. I haven't used them yet because I have some sponsorship uh, sponsorship obligations and there's other products I wanted to use. So even though I've had these for weeks, I haven't used them yet. I even got them before they actually w came into Ulta. So if I was a good YouTuber, I should have already tried and reviewed them. But girl, they're not paying me. So I'm not going to rush to get out this content. But from based on what I've experienced with the products so far... Uh, there's nothing about these products that makes me think they're for type 4 hair. They're very loose and light. Like they're for type 2 and type 3 hair. For loose curls. Um, so I don't know if they just slap coily on there to appease us to, or to appeal to us. Or to pander to us. But the textures are not giving. I'll just say that. The textures are not giving to me. I have tried the edge control. It's cute. It does turn it does turn white like all edge controls. I don't love it because I don't I don't really love edge control. But it's cool. Um it does eventually turn white, especially if you use a lot of oils and butters in your hair, which y'all know I do. And the lastly for the little, the little coil extension is their custard and it's crazy because the custard the custard let me show y'all it's in my to try bin y'all hear that that's the sound of a custard geared towards curly hair like ain't no way i showed the girls in the insider tea this weeks ago and we were all like ain't no way like look at this y'all what is that what not your mother's what is that babe that's not gonna do anything. That's not gonna do anything for curly, for coily hair. For type four hair, the packaging also doesn't make sense. For a texture like this, this needs to be in a, a bottle. It should not be in a jar because it's so thin and goopy. It's, it, it's... I 
I just, you know, like, <laughs> y'all remember that meme? Like, that's what I'm, what is this? Anyway, they also released a Tough Love bonding line. I am not sure how different this is from the Curl Talk bonding line. I do have these products as well. I requested these products because when they dropped, they only sent me the Coily products for obvious reasons. And they didn't send me the Bond products. And I'm like, huh? I want them. So I reached out to them and they did send them. Um, so I do want to create some content since I specifically requested them. Um, there's a few reviews already. There's about... 15 reviews or so and it has four stars there's a bonding treatment which is their number their number one it's giving Olaplex but I'm pretty sure it's probably going to be more of a dupe for Redken because there's nothing right now that can truly dupe Olaplex we talked about that before there's a shampoo there's also a conditioner and then there's a leave-in protector which is going to be which is going to be cool for those of us who use heat these products does contain silicones but I probably will do a head-to-head -head between the curl talk bonding products and the tough love bonding products if that's something that you want to see give this video a thumbs up and let me know Olaplex came out with a new product i also got this product before it released and i have not tried it yet <laughs> this is the olaplex volumizing blowout blow dry mist it is of course 30 dollars like all olaplex products for five fluid ounces so technically it's supposed to give you volume i do want to try using this with my natural hair as well as my blown out hair to see because i have naturally fine hair and it's easy for my hair to deflate like even though you're seeing my hair nice and big my hair was bigger before i did my makeup and as i did my makeup it started to deflate even though i tried using some hairspray it still shrunk up because coils and curls are going to do what they do. So I want to see if this is going to help me get some volume on top. Because I have fine hair. Even though my hair might look full and thick, it's not. So I'll see how that works. I keep saying I'm going to try it. Haven't tried it yet. If you have tried it, definitely let me know what you think. Um, I should have already had out a video on it. But I'm a bad YouTuber. Eva NYC has come out with some new hair masks, the Lift Off Volumizing Hair Mask, as well as the May Magic 10-in-1 Shine Mask. I'm most interested in the Shine Mask because I love the Eva NYC 10-in-1 Primer. The shampoo and conditioner, and eh, nothing. But, you know, I love a good mask. It does have 27 reviews and 5 stars. Eva NYC does offer to send me PR so if I really want this product I can have them send I can have them send it to me um, but I'll, I already have so many masks in my stash it will be greedy for me to request it I have so many masks like in my closet I have masks back here in my buffet table I just have so many products it is eight ounces for $14 but eventually I can see myself picking it up not right now because I just have way too much let's go to Sephora because we've been talking a lot already and y'all know I am talkative. I just want to make sure I hit up some of the new things here at Sephora. This is something that I was most excited about. K18 now has a hair repair starter kit. It includes the shampoo. It is the peptide prep shampoo. A mini size of the K18 peptide which is... It's a bond repair product in the ways that Olaplex is a bond repair product and it also comes with their new oil and it retails for $58. It's a $70 value for $58. I think that's a really good value just because the mini size of K18 itself is $36. So just for a few more dollars, you can get the shampoo and the oil. I do have K18. I finally bought it, but I haven't used it yet. It's back in my it's back in my infamous buffet table um and i i k18 is a product where you you kind of don't want to pre-pool you just want to shampoo and go in with it and i i haven't wrapped my mind around not pre-pooing because i need to pre-pool to detangle my fine tangle prone hair i eventually will get to k18 but if you always wanted to try k18 and you wanted the best value this is something that you may want to pick up because 
you know you're getting some money off something to consider so the sephora collection launched some new products including their hydrating scalp serum with hyaluronic acid that sounds really good if you have a dry scalp that might work really well for you i don't want to go to delve into ingredients too much just because going into ingredients really slows the video down um but let's 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 just check because you know we like to let's see what the ingredients are so it's literally just water betaine pethylene glycol so really just hydrating conditioning ingredients there's some lactic acid which is also moisturizing the ingredient list sounds good i don't suffer with a dry scalp but if you do suffer with a dry scalp this may be really good for your scalp it says it's good for straight wavy curly and coily hair um, it just has one review, like it's literally brand spanking new. Um, something for you to consider. The Sephora Collection also came out with a cleansing scalp scrub. Um, it's $20 for 13 fluid ounces, which is a really good price. I might try a Sephora Collection for like a video. Not right now, because I need to get through some of my products. But that would be a good video, because their products are affordable and they sound so good i'm pretty sure it has to have apple cider vinegar in it just based on the color yep it has uh, it has apple cider vinegar um towards the basically the top of the ingredient list so that sounds really good like don't sleep on the sephora collection like sephora collection makeup is some of my favorites at sephora so i can imagine that the hair products would be just as good but i have not tried that as yet so I don't know it's really intriguing if you have tried products from the sephora hair collection let me know let's talk about the dyson air straight so this product is not particularly new it came out maybe two months ago um i will never buy this product unless dyson sends me this product in which they will not send it to me because they would have already sent it i do not get it at all like I have not seen any results besides on people that already have straight hair of doing anything that's super miraculous. Um, I, I, I love my Dyson Supersonic. Y'all know I love my Dyson Supersonic. But the air straight just seems like a waste of time and money. I do have someone in the Insider, T-A-M-J. She got the... Dyson Air Straight as a gift and then I later convinced her to get the Rev Air instead and return her Dyson. I don't think she even returned her Dyson even though I think she should. Um, she got the Rev Air and she says she prefers the Rev Air um, and I'm not surprised by that because when I saw the results of the, of the Dyson I was like it doesn't make sense to get the Dyson one if you own the Rev Air or if I had to choose between the two I would get the Rev Air. The Rev Air is is I think gentler, it's less manipulation. You're not running a tool up and down your hair. You're literally just vacuuming the vacuuming up the water out of your hair and releasing it. It just seems like less manipulation for what seems like the 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 same result. Um the Rev Air is not going to get your hair bone straight, and neither is the Dyson Air Straight. And the Rev Air is also cheaper than the Dyson, and that says a lot because the Rev Air is not a cheap device at all. It's an expensive device, but the Dyson Air Straight is more expensive than the Rev Air. So if you were torn between getting the Dyson or the Rev Air, I would get the Rev Air. I do have a coupon code with Rev Air. It is BCLH. It is BCLH. You can save on your Rev Air. This is not me pushing you to either, to either one, but as someone that has a Dyson Supersonic, that has a Rev Air, I would never pick up the Dyson Air Straight because it's not giving. Um, none of the results I've seen have made it worth it. Why would I buy a six, a five, a five hundred dollar device where I still have to go and flat iron my hair when the point of this is to take you from curly to straight it takes you from curly to blown out i've seen some white creators uh with straight hair get amazing results and definitely worth it if you already have straight hair but if you have kinky coily hair girl don't even waste your time the answer is no there's like it's don't do it i don't do it i no, there's nothing about the air straight that's doing it for me personally. It has, you know, five star, almost five stars on Sephora. But for kinky curly hair, the answer is absolutely hell to the no. 
Um, why am I, why sounds, so, I'm not mad. It's just, I just, I feel like folks are like gaslighting tighter textures that this is going to work for us too. And it's just not. Uh, Color Wow came out with a new product. It's their Extra Strength Dream Coat Ultra Moisturizing Anti-Frizz Treatment. I've never tried Color Wow because I don't flat iron my hair. I only blow out my hair. Color Wow is something that I would pick up if I actually went to the point of flat ironing my own hair which I don't see me doing right now. If you like Color Wow and you want to try the intense version or the extra strength, they do have that. I think I saw a video where someone said they don't really see much of a difference between the extra strength and the original. If you already have the original, I wouldn't run out and get the extra strength, but the extra strength is available. Keratos, 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 Keratos. How you pronounce that? Kara Keratos, I think that's how you pronounce that brand. Keratos came out with a nutritive, ultra hydrating mask for very dry hair. When I see very dry hair, it is usually marketed to our type of hair types. It says it's for straight, wavy, curly, and coily hair, which is funny because Keratos never marketed markets towards black women, but they do say coily on the website, child. I love me a good mask, but Keratos is not cheap. It's $63 for seven fluid ounces. I would buy it just to do a review on it, but I have like 20 masks in my sash, so I don't see myself picking it up right now. But maybe eventually, because something that says very dry hair, I'm like, yes, please sign me up. There's two types of shampoo. There's a shampoo for medium to thick dry hair, and then one for fine to medium dry hair. I feel like that's marketing because shampoo is shampoo is shampoo, but... All right, girl. JVN released their Nurture Hydrating Conditioner and Shampoo for Dry Hair. It's supposed to be for all hair types. I've never tried JVN. The only people that I've seen JVN market to are white and Latina women. So I don't know how it works on type 4 hair. I haven't seen any type 4 person mention JVN. But if you have tried JVN in the past or you have tried these products, let me know what you think. Um... Again, they don't market towards us, and I'm at this point, like, if you don't market towards us, if I try it, I try it, but I'm also not going out of, out of my way. Uh, black women and black hair is so important. We take our hair so important. Historically, culturally, it's a big part of who we are, and if you don't want our money by marketing towards us or paying creators who look like us, I'm not going to go out of my way. That's how I feel about it. Obviously, there's brands like... Oh, all applies to other brands that I use that they don't market towards us, but I happen to try the products and I love them. But for the most most part, I'm just not gonna go out of my way personally. Briogeo came out with a new product. It's their Scalp Revival Charcoal and Tea Tree Build Up Detox Spray. I've seen a lot more products recently that are geared towards scalp care in ways I never saw that before. So I think that's kind of cool, that's kind of different how impactful it'll be for scalp care i'm not sure it says it's a scalp exfoliating pre-wash treatment that gently eliminates product buildup and dry shampoo related scalp congestion for a more effective cleanse oh so you so it's basically like a pre-poo type of product i tried like a pre-poo type of product recently and i thought it was cute but you know it does contain some salicylic acid and lactic acid and which are all good ingredients for the scalp there's also tea tree oil so there's probably like a little tingle on it there's peppermint oil Ooh, it is 26 dollars for four fluid ounces brioche also doesn't really market to type four hair like that but this product does sound good especially for those of us who have scalp issues and the, pr the price you know it's not too too bad um, that sounds really dope, actually. That sounds dope. Um, not something I would pick up right now, because I don't really have scalp, a scalp condition. I do want to say that Inky List has a salicylic acid treatment, so if you don't have the coins for Briogeo, you may want to try the one from the Inky List. I have not tried that, but I've heard really good things, and I will link that down below. I got you. Mabel and Maine. Um, is known for their hair oil, but they just came out with a leave-in conditioner. It says it's new, but there's also 600 reviews already, so I don't know how that is possible. It also seems a little scammy. I don't know. I don't know. The oldest review came out in June, so 
a month old, but there's a lot of reviews on here. But I'm pretty sure some people that were sent the product. Sephora is notorious for um, paid, not paid reviews, but like free products in exchange for a review. Yeah, the only verified purchase is one person. Everybody else was sent it in like influencers and stuff like that. That's how brands are able to really buttress their reviews and stuff like that. They like they like send people free product. And not saying that if you're sending a free product, you're not going to be honest. Because obviously I'm sending free products and I'm honest. I'm sponsored. But everyone don't have integrity. The, the, word, the lesson of the day is that everyone doesn't have integrity. It is $30 for less than 5 fluid ounces, but that does not surprise me because Fable and Main is more of a luxury brand. Ceremonia came out with two new products. They came out with their Guava Shampoo for damaged and color treated hair, as well as their Guava Conditioner for damaged treated hair. I definitely want to try. They have like a shampoo scrub that I've been wanting to try for the longest. Haven't tried it yet just because I have so many shampoos and I also have the Briojo shampoo that I haven't tried yet. But Ceremonia did come out with some new products. I've heard some really good things about Ceremonia products but not from folks that have type 4 hair. Folks that have like type 2 hair um, and Ceremonia also doesn't really market to type 4 hair. But their products just always sound so yummy. Ceremonia is a Lion X woman owned brand. If you have tried Ceremonia, let me know what you think. But that's it for now, y'all. This video has been long enough. There's still so many products that I did not mention because we would be here all day. So definitely be sure to click a link and browse the sites themselves to see what you're most interested in. There's so many products to pick up. I know none of us need any more products, but if something definitely, you know, captured your fancy or interested you in any way, so don't forget to click a link and save a life and purchase through my links. Like I said, it always helps. That's it for now. Let me know what you're most interested in. Let me know what you're saying. I'm good on it too. Let me know what you think about the Dyson Airstraight. Has it interested you in any way? Let me know everything down below. I love chatting with y'all as always. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all later. Peace. Bye y'all.